Okay, in this example, we are finding the derivative of the function one over x, and we're gonna use the definition of derivative or first principles, whatever you wanna call it, uh, which is the limit is h approaches zero of f of x plus h minus f of x, all divided by x plus h minus x, which is essentially y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1, so it's slope, except you can see here that uh, the x's will cancel, so we're just left with h. Um, but this is nothing more than slope formula between two points that are infinitely close together on the same curve, which in this case is one over x. Okay, enough. Let's go ahead and jump into it. So this is going to be one over x plus h minus one over x, all over h. Uh, I suggest you do a common denominator here. So let's go ahead and do x, uh, x over x and x plus h over x plus h. Don't forget your limit. Doesn't mean anything without it. Okay, and so we'll get x minus a minus x minus h all over x squared plus x h all over h. Okay, make sure you do that very carefully. X squared plus x h minus to the x minus to the h. All right, keep going. Limit is h approaches zero. X minus x goes away. So left with minus h all over x squared plus x h all over h. But I'm gonna rewrite this as multiply by one over h, multiply by one over h. So then I have one over h right here. Okay, that will cancel. Okay, almost there. So now you can see that these will cancel and I'll be left with the limit as h approaches zero of minus one over x squared plus xh. Now we can substitute in h as zero because before, like always, you can't substitute it in right from the start because you'll do, be dividing by zero, which we cannot do. So now let's substitute in zero and we're left with negative one over x squared, which means the derivative of one over x is negative one over x squared. We can even write that more appropriately. F prime of x is equal to negative one over x squared.